Hey guys, another video for our Castles and Old Buildings in Japan playlist. We spotted this little classic down a tiny little street in the old part of town. You can see it used to have a thatched roof, well it sort of still does, but they've replaced some of it with tiles quite a long time ago by the look of it, and then covered the rest of it with tin. So we've showed you that before, we've seen that before up in the mountains. Over the years, the thatching has to be replaced, and of course, it's a time-consuming, expensive thing to do, and needs to be done by people that know what they're doing. So we've showed you this sort of thing before. They'll sometimes cover over the thatching with tin like that to protect it, and then just leave it like that. So there is an old gentleman still living in there too, which is amazing, isn't it? So he's got his... His storehouse out here, which seems a little bit later than the thatched roof part of the house. It's still in good condition. The actual buildings themselves are in pretty good condition. So is the garden. Pretty bushy. <laughs> pretty bushy, but by design, it seems. It seems he's allowed the trees to grow. Because around the house itself, close to the house, he's kept it, he's maintained it well. He's just allowed these other trees to, to grow. And he's got mucky. Some of you would have seen we we planted mucky to make a hedge at the at our old farmhouse. And that's obviously a pretty old mucky hedge. That one. Have a look at it. It stands about three meters high. <laughs> it's a beauty, and you can barely see the roof up there. So that's why we planted that stuff. It grows really well. It makes a good hedge. Look at the back. Isn't this excellent? Probably the front of the house, in actual fact. It's a peach, isn't it? It really is. It's a classic example of its type. Pretty old. No idea how old it would be, but it'd be pretty old. Anyway, there was that. More videos coming soon.